Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Uh, tonight, what I am offering up is an unboxing video of a, a, a game I just opened. I literally just opened the Chicken Ping package and cracked it open and discovered inside that package a copy of this. This is the deluxe edition of Illiter Illiterati, which for some reason I'm having a hard time saying. Illiterati, um, this is a one to five player, half hour, age seven plus word game, spelling style game. It is a card-driven word game where you are rebels fighting against the illiterati one word at a time, trying to take down the evil group who won't let the public read. Um, this comes from Gap Closer Games, who I do have to thank for sending us a review copy of this. I know nothing else about this game except for what I just told you. So join me as I experience what you get in the box for illiterati for the first time. All right, step one is going to be removing the shrink wrap. Here we have uh, my shiny new, literally new, just opened the shipping package copy of Illiterati. Um, love the linen finish. Artwork's really cool here. I'm just going to show off the sides of the box, um, though I'm a little too zoomed in to kind of do that. And what I love, of course, is the side here that makes it look like a book, but a book that's been damaged. I do dig that. So one of the things that is interesting is this is not a box on its own. This is a sleeve. And there is a little tug spot here to open it. And then you find out, oh, it is the box. Okay. I thought this was going to have a box and I would, you know, toss out this sleeve. Which odd here is, okay, you have like the book here. So you're, it's like you're pulling a book out of the sleeve. So that's, that's a neat touch. Um, does this come all the way off? Okay, it does. So yes, cardboard sleeve that actually is the lid of the box. Uh, then we have the instructions for Literati, which I got to say nice and thin, which isn't surprising for a half hour word game. Uh, you've got your setup, uh, different difficulty levels. Good to see. Very good to see. I'll say three different difficulty levels. We've got some cloth bags we're going to see. Fonts, uh, tiny, a little smaller than I would like. I guess uh, in a game about reading, they expect you to be able to read small things. Provide a QR code for leading the rules, learning the rules. Always appreciate that. Um, and showing the library. Book binding phase, tiger wolf, burn phase, burn. You're going to burn tracker. I don't know. Maybe there's books being burned here by the illiterati. Final chapter, letters and syndomes, randomonium powers. So it looks like the, the main rules are six pages with a little bit of summary. Yeah, then you have a solo mode, and I love this. There are rules for playing specifically with kids, and then there are PvP rules. Librarian versus librarian. So I think this is mainly a co-op game normally. Underneath we have um, some advertisement for this game, which is a little strange, but on the back there is one of the other games from this company. Um, nice. Oh, these are nice. Okay. I, I'm digging this box. We got a bag. We get the bookmarks. Very cool. On point. We have various bookmarks. Uh, for what looks like five different characters. They're literally just bookmarks. I don't know if they do anything in the game, but cool. I'm going to put those back. We have two cloth bags. Again, remember, this is the deluxe edition. So I don't know if you'd still get um, stitched bags. I don't know the difference between the deluxe edition and the retail. Two different bags. These are nice. These are really nice. Uh, plastic? I don't know why they're in separate bags. You can kind of hear them clacking there. I'm just going to toss this bag out, actually. Um, we're going to open up one of these. Maybe I'll do more. Yeah, these... Wood? These are wood. I was expecting plastic. So we have actual wood words, um, and it looks like there's different symbols. Like, we both have eyes there, but they have different symbols on them. The owl's got a different symbol. There's some black tiles in here with all kinds of symbols. I, again, I don't know the game to be able to tell you. Some of the car tiles are colored, some are not. So I'm just going to type out some of these. Okay, this is important to note. Some are sticking together. So whoever put these in the bag put them in before the paint had completely dried, but you'll notice that just came apart really easy. I don't see any damage to the paint from that. So yeah, wooden tiles. Um, my guess would be the retail version has cardboard chits. Okay, I'm not going to open every bag. You get the idea here. Different colors. Is it the vowels? 
These are all eyes. There's only eyes in here. Weird. So the only vowel in this particular bag are eyes. I see A's in here and E's. So I don't know how these are divided up. I don't want to mix the bags just in case it matters somehow for setup, though I'm guessing these all get dumped together. So you kind of see all these different tokens. Let's put all these back. All right, we're back over here. Okay. There's a nice... Wow, okay, look. It snaps. Oh, nice. To keep everything in place, that is nice and tight. Snaps right in. We're going to leave that there for a sec to show off this sand timer. I don't remember the last time I played a game with a sand timer. It comes in a resealable thing, but I'm going to ditch it. Um, it is the modern board game style, as we've seen in other modern board games by other companies, so I'm not going to bother mentioning. But it's got a nice sand timer here. Um, let's see. We're going to look at what time it is and kind of guess. Okay, I'm going to have that go. Can I finish the unboxing before time runs out? We have a standee for a, a tiger looking guy. Hmm. Let's put this aside. So we have a standee. We have the burn tracker, which bonus points, dual layered. Look at that. Oh, look at the back of that. That's nice. Is he two sided? No, he said, well, he's two sided, but the same on each side. We have, he is Colonel Absolute Feast, the Glorious Eater. So that's who that character is in his own little card. Oh, it's a chef. Okay. We'll put that above. Then we have a significantly large deck of cards, like in two ways. That is a, a strange size and it's thick. Look at them all. All right, let's put this stuff off to the side so we can go through cards. All right, now that we've got all this out of the way, my timer's still going. That's a long timer. Let's take a look at these. These are the book cards, I have to assume, based on the fact it says books. Oh, nice linen finish to these cards. I don't know if you can see that in the image, but nice linen finish. Um, Dead Men Tell No Tales, Scourge of the Seven Seas. Okay, there is a, a repetitive artwork. I'm not sure, sure what. So there are multiple different titles. This sounds Scourge of the Seas, Dead Men Tell No Tales, X Marks the Spot. All the same art, some rules underneath. Um, this does. This is probably the, the illiterati you're facing against. And then we have the professor again. Again, in each five different suits. Yeah, I think what we are looking at here are the illiterati who you are trying to defeat. Um, which makes more sense for the same card art. Love the, the cover here. The cover. Sorry, the artwork here. Unique art style. So you have more cards for the different illiterati. Good representation here. Different styles, ages, and then we get to books. Okay. Yeah, these are all... No, there's still other stuff in between. Oh, there's different types of books. All right, here. Let's sort by our backs. Big chunk of Elodorati cards. This thing's still going. So we have red books. We have summary cards, and we have blue books. So summary cards uh, list the different difficulty levels. And then the round order for up to five players. So it shows your round order, what you're going to do, building words, and so on. And then, uh, no clue. Library card. I, it's just showing the symbology. Put these off to the side. I do like that there's a difficulty level and the letter distribution. So for people who are like to uh, card count, we'll say, even though they're tiles, this is a nice inclusion including showing that there are what the different suits are and how many of each. Dig it. Blue books. These obviously um, go this way, one up. So I don't know if it's worth four points. You draw four things. says rhymes, eight, nine. This is where you're going to need that library card. This to tell you. Oh, no, this to tell you what all these symbols mean, obviously, because there's eight star. This looks like how you're scoring. I don't actually know. Icons look very clear. I love how big the text is. Like, I can read that. All vowels must be. I like that it says homophones, and then it explains what a homophone is underneath. That's a nice touch. Um, there's quotes at the bottom. So, yeah, a bunch of different types of scoring. 
Oh, final chapter. The quotes are not from real books. It says that it was the best of felines. It was the worst of felines. A Tale of Two Kittens. So made up books. Totally fair. I'm assuming these are going to look different. I don't know what the difference between red and blue is. Maybe it's difficulty playing with kids. So again, you have the title, the inside. These are all 8, 12. Okay. So red books are all whatever, 8 and 12. Whereas these are more variety. No real artwork on these, but you got to appreciate puns. I'm sure most gamers appreciate puns. This is 20,000 inches under the lake with a quote on the bottom. There you have it. What you get with Illiterati, including a very long sand timer that, that I assume it's still going. Oh, yeah, that's a bad sign. So the sand timer has not run out because no sand is passing through the sand timer. So that's a little disappointing. I hope that was just like a minor blockage and we'll be fixed because that seemed to be going for a very long time. And I'm like, well, now I see why. All right. Time to pack everything back up. Then we're going to slide all this back into the sleeve. It's kind of nice. I dig it. All righty. There you have what you get in the box with Illiterati from Gap Closer. Yes, Gap Closer Games. Sorry, I had to double check that. Gap Closer Games, a literati, a, a, I don't know if you call it a party game, but a, a shorter, lighter, word-based game where you are trying to spell various words um, and trying to defeat the illiterati, the evil people, trying to stop people from being able to read. Um, first thoughts on this, highlights. Wooden tiles are fantastic. They're really nice. I was expecting plastic. The wood's a nice touch. Yes, a couple were stuck together, but they came apart very easily. This box design is something else. So you, you literally slide it out like this, which is a unique thing. Um, right now, that's a tight pull. It feels pretty good, but I do worry about long time pulling on that. That's not going to come off, but right now it's good. Um, I do like the style. I like the look, though I kind of wish... The side that looks like a book that I'd want sticking out on my shelf said the name of the game. So we'll see. I do tend to store my games this way, so it's not going to matter all that much. So dig that. Biggest disappointment would be the sand timer that didn't seem to work at all. It stopped on me three times. I tried shaking it a couple times. Not a very good sand timer. Thankfully, though, we live in an age of cell phones and tablets, and it's pretty easy to set an appropriate timer. So not a huge knock against the game there, but if you're going to include a sand timer... Uh, having it work would be nice. Game looks interesting. Rules are nice and short. Uh, rule book was, looks very clear. Looking forward to actually sitting down and trying out Illiterati. Now, when I do, I will be sharing a review at tabletopbellhop.com on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash tabletopbellhop, and on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can watch us record live 8 p.m. Wednesdays at twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop. Have you heard me say tabletop bellhop enough? If not, head to patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. See ya.